the uh, Stronghold Conflict number three, hosted at 4-1 Games. Hello, hello. I'm uh, Victor, and sitting next to me is Sung Ho. This is the uh, third event before the Stronghold Showdown, which is going to be uh, held at the end of this month. So we got 14 people, no, sorry, 15, 15 people. Yeah. yeah, 15 people out today. This is actually, I think, the largest turnout we've had for a Stronghold Conflict event. It's very nice, yeah. Like yeah. So I think, as Victor, you said, uh, stated before we went on live, I think it's because of the uh, the Resurgent list. That really opened up a lot of interesting uh, deck building and stuff. So, yeah. So everybody just resolving their mulligans. We've seen these two play before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyone anyone who, uh, who's who been watching our Stronghold Conflict are probably familiar with Ronnie and uh, Ben. Uh, both of them pretty good players. Ben is someone who plays Unicorn a lot. Yes. And Ronnie, someone told me that Ronnie was the Crane Hatamoto at uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. Is that true? I, I don't know. He always I can't. Carries... I can't find his name on the list. Okay. I, I, well, I sometimes I mean, I'm I thought confused you can only get works. those playmats like once you become either I guess top crane or something, isn't that what the? Yeah, you maybe you might be right. Well, let me bring. Up well, the... our apologies if we can't, if I can't remember. But yeah. So I remember when we commentated last time for yeah. event two, Moto Nergui, so good. Yeah. Like on point. So, <clears throat> he didn't play it this time. He just went with no Shingo because uh, yeah, he probably wants to diversify his units because of the uh, that looks like a double five to each. Yeah, makes sense. Ooh, okay. So it looks like Ronnie's restricted card is probably looks like it was policy to be. Well, he's playing Dragon Splash. Do you know if he's uh, Dragon Splash? Yeah, he's playing Dragon. I asked Ronnie before the start of this match oh, what wow. he was running. He said he was playing Dragon. Unicorn now, Crane. Okay. Wow. Well, that that's a throwback to the old Unicorn Eater decks. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Right. Mia Satoshi, pol political rival. Uh, you you do your first few conflicts uh, with political. Yeah. And then you build up your discard pile for cavalry reserves right. and all that. Right. So. Uh, very interesting that Ronnie goes for uh, political first. Probably wants to fire off his uh, core games. So I'm probably thinking either. Ronnie wants to get a court games going, send the uh, cautious scout back. Yep. Maybe to pro uh, defend properly. So it looks like it's a value of one to zero. No, it's two, right? That uh, that guy. Oh, right, because no is one. Is it when you don't have the favor? That's correct. Then yeah. you get plus. Yeah. Plus so one, yeah. you're right. So it's one to two actually. Uh, I can probably guess this is the only reason why. He, uh, Ben's, or Ronnie's doing this right now because I think I saw a Voice of Honor in Ronnie's hand, so he probably just wants to get that going. As soon as I, I think the idea is he pokes, he sees what that is, then he's probably going to send the guy back with yes. uh, Favor Ground, perhaps. Yeah. Well, if, I, if he might try to bow to see if he can just win a Void Ring. Ooh, oh, nice. Assassination. Wow, okay. So, oh, I see. Okay, okay. So. Ronnie is going to go up to... Okay, so I think I think Ronnie was a little bit too overzealous there, I think. He probably want to wait until he, uh, Ben committed another thing on it, but I think that was still okay. So it's 3-0 to zero right now. I'd move that over to a different location just to get an ability or something. Yeah, probably get some money or something. Yeah, so it looks like he's going to move to Gnagger Gardens, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, gain of Fate. That's a pretty good plan, but... I mean, Ronnie's happy with this, too. The whole purpose of an early uh, cautious scout is you just want to flip over your opponent's process. That's exactly as as right. Yeah. So you know where uh, certain areas you want to go to, and then, uh, oh, so Keeper Avoid wins a fate back, which rare ability to happen. I, see I, more I always, triggers I always happen. forget. I always forget. <laughs> trigger, honestly. So, <laughs> Sotomatic, I was pointing at uh, Ronnie's probably going with policy debate. I think that's a face, uh, fair, fair assumption considering that. Uh, I, I spoke to Ronnie with the. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I spoke. I spoke to Ronnie. I think a few days after the restricted list came out. Yeah. He said that um, 
D Dragon was there specifically because there's a very powerful player, Zachary, who plays these events, who plays Scorpion. Yes. And he said that the Dragon Splash before the restricted list, while suboptimal against most other map matchups, was there right. specifically to counter Scorpion. I see. But now with the restricted list gone, he still yeah. needs the attachment hit from Letgo. That's correct, yeah. But I think he's running uh, Tattooed Wanderers instead for yep. added uh, Covert instead of... I like uh, that. Most fury. So pretty pretty good here. Uh, ben gets to break this province. Uh, oh no, he can't because he has no fate. Never mind. So Ben's probably just going here just so that uh, probably knock off the honor token off of uh, yeah, just re re deactivate the uh, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm I'm blanking on names here. Uh, Voice of Honor. Mm -hmm. I'll just want to shut that off. It's a good play. Uh, probably go military, maybe. Oh, did Ronnie lose an honor? He lost a bunch of honor for unopposed too, right? And he used an assassinate, so he should be yes. at six honor. Sorry, it's it's hard to keep track no. of this. And no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yes, so yeah, should be yeah. at seven honor. Sorry, my apologies. So Earth to Meditations of the Dao. Uh, yeah, let's just break it. Yeah, I like it. So lose an honor for unopposed. Toss Nerguli, that's pretty good right there. So broken, loses the card at random. <clears throat> yeah, I think this went uh, pretty well for Ronnie here, cause even though uh, there was a fate discovery. Uh, yeah. I know. Uh, I know Ben runs. Uh, he's he's. He sometimes runs endless planes. That is so correct. So Ronnie was, <clears throat> I think Ronnie was desperately fishing for that too. He's yeah. gonna have one more chance to get it, I think, with the cautious scout. Yeah. So I, I would probably toss uh, she's away maybe, but that is a lot of fade on uh, on Ronnie's side. It looks like it's 14, which is incredible. Really nice. Yeah, you just played the Cautious Scout, right? That was yeah. his only play? No, no, exactly. And then he gained a double fade, or twice the amount of fade from the Seeker ability and uh, Manker Garden. So keeping that around is also very helpful, too. So first player back to the I there. mean, most of the time, you can't really capitalize that much on turn one to break yeah. a bunch of provinces. So the, the smart play is to just... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. just to finish my thought, this, the smart play is to just... Uh, not spend a lot of fate on turn one because you're right. not going to have a guy stick around yeah. for that long but he's kind of got punished here for having three holdings of one character yes but that one character Ooh. is the uh, doji hitaru which uh the crane's champion yep well technically hitaru is the sub champion because kasha scout and Brash Samurai are the people's champion. <laughs> <laughs> that Kasha Scout's the true champion. Yeah, the it. true champion. The, <laughs> the champion we deserve. So I feel like they're both probably going to go five. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, there's no need to put armor pressure on yet. Plus, Ben has that windswept yurt in yeah. his hold, uh, holding area. Oh, three to four. Interesting. I guess we were completely wrong then. <laughs> Uh, it, I'm no. usually very greedy on wanting to get additional cards in, so I guess that's more more of just me. But well, Ronnie maybe was feeling a little bit of pressure after losing four honor on turn one to, yes. with, between the assassin right. and the uncontested. Right, you're right. So I would assume Ben probably wants to do a <clears throat> political attack, maybe covert Kotaru. Water to bow the cautious scout. Yeah. Yeah. Good play. Yeah, I like that. I mean, the covert's not doing a lot right now, just because of the two favorable grounds on Ronnie's That's side. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> so we might we might even just see a defense here. I see for shame. Doesn't do a lot against a political rival unless you also have a steward of law in play. This is going to be pretty interesting, but I think... Uh, it looks like Manicured Garden was yep, the... Uh, attacked uh, province. So it's currently 4 to 5. So we're going 6 to 5. Yeah, makes sense. So a Steward of Law going into the conflict, I assume? It's actually 6 to 6 because of the favor. No, no, sorry. I, he hasn't defended. Sorry, it's oh six for six for Ben and one for Ronnie. 
So it bows because you can't do anything about yep. it. Still one though. Still one. So uses what? Gaijin Customs. Can you use that on a non uh, unicorn? Yes, you can. You, all, all you need is a unicorn card in play. Uh, I, I think, yeah. Well, let's no, 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 no. I, I believe you. It's just I. Uh, right, right. You just have to target a non unicorn character. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So would you would would uh, Ronnie probably just go maybe? <clears throat> Does Ronnie go Potaro in? Yeah. So seven to six. Whew. That is nasty. So pass, I assume. Court games. The That's Hotaru. Huge. Plus, yeah, plus there it is. Six to ten. Would you return back the Steward of Law now, knowing that uh, you have enough to defend it? What in what way? So that you can use it as a defender or slash attacker for yeah. Okay. So Ronnie thought exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. So six to nine. It's gonna court games back uh, Ronnie to try to knock off the token. It's, uh, yep. That's a bit unfortunate too because that uh, Steward of Law was actually keeping yes keeping Ronnie fr uh, sorry Ben from playing that court games. So I feel like yeah, Vaughn is going to counter that. So it's nine to six to nine. Pro might want to do some policy debates to get rid of cards from him while the opportunity yeah, is here. Now, now is a opportune time to do the policy yeah, debate because it's like nine to. Five, so you basically cannot lose. Or you could put a fan on and make it literal un, un, un losable. But I don't think that seems like an over commitment, in my opinion. Well, we're about to find out because here comes the policy debate. <clears throat> so nine to five. You know, I think if Ronnie really wants to win this, he probably wants to bid two. My, well, I don't know if Ben really wants to lose four honor to try to protect. Yeah. See what we got here. Cow reserves. Ooh, double. Well, that's, that's a very redundant hand, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, yes. That's the kind of hand you want to see against a policy debate, honestly. Yes. That just being multiple said, multiple copies and just. Yeah. That being said, I think I take the cavalry reserves just because you have a Mia Satoshi in play. Like your yes. opponent has a Mia Satoshi He's in play. Deal a bunch of cards. Exactly. It's it's based on the way Ronnie's playing his characters. It seems like he needs to settle in for the long game. That's correct. Especially yeah. after that pretty bad flop he had yes. on turn two. Yes. Uh, so you don't want that thing coming back and surprising you uh, a few turns from now. For sure. Okay. So Ronnie wins that conflict. So Ronnie's probably going to go military. Uh, Just poke at that last province. Yeah. S see, it, if my suspicion is in, it is in Endless Plains, then this is actually a pretty good, good deal for Ronnie because... Uh, it's a two-strength province. That's correct. That can yes. just break without a lot of extra effort. Well, and then it's also blank too, so he can't. He doesn't even yeah. lose his guy. So let's find out if we were right. Oh, Not in endless plains, actually. Pilgrimage. pilgrimage. That's actually a whole lot better for Ben. Oh, so it's probably Ben must have changed his uh, provinces to probably add right in the streets. Right. For a stronghold, which unfortunately there's not really good many water. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's either going to be Routes of the Cause or Elemental Fury? Is that water? Yes. Yeah. So it's like one or the other, and getting access to Ryan in the Streets, considering a deck that is unicorn with a lot of Bushies, that might be good. If it's getting to the last part, which. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Sad Suck says, oh, sure, Endless Plains takes that. Well, you got to keep up the element of surprise. I mean, if you're going to put right, it in every right. single... Actually, that's a pretty good strategy. Just keep it, take it, keep it, take it out. So we see a double Keep everybody on their yeah. toes. Oh, and a mid defeat. Wham, wham. Nice. 
Looks like we're going for a break. So, 8 to 0. All right. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you, Cautious Cow. Man, Rodney's really been putting the screws to uh, Ben. He's gonna uh, move. Doesn't want to lose uh, the province. Okay. Well, yeah, because Cautious Scout is gonna be losing this, uh, leaving this turn. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah. Manicure Garden takes the fate. No, uh, he can't. Oh, I'm sorry. He does not take the fate. I believe he's using Yurt. It looks like. Yeah, he's yeah. using Yurt to gain the two uh, fate to each player. So flips the face up. Ooh, okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Who cares? That means better characters to leave, right? So, tosses that away. Yeah, he definitely wanted to save the pilgrimage because with the talisman, that's something you want to keep around. Although, tal talismans are likely to leave this turn, too. Right, right. So, it looks like uh, Ronnie does the honor steal. So, it's 7 to 9 now. <clears throat> But it looks like it's actually six to seven, or oh, six to eight, because they both bonsai kicked. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like here, there's military left, so it's military of one going to. So, would do you think Ben would probably go after? Um, he's already used it, so might as well attack it before the. It's a military one, right? Yeah, military one. Because he does, he has a favorite this time. So I'm thinking, Ronnie just lets this go, then does a political attack to some province, maybe the public forum. Okay, defense, sure. Oh, I see, because uh, Ben or Ronnie doesn't want Ben to win this conflict to get all the cards with Satoshi's ability out. Can you imagine an attack with this when they get like two or three keepers? That's a pretty big swing right there. Has he used his Satoshi? Well, he he's has about not. to right yeah. now. Yeah, so I think that's what he wanted to do to make sure yeah. that uh, he wanted to get it going before. So there's one already. Okay. That's pretty good. Loses Eda Trader. That's fine. Man, Satoshi's so good. I, I, I really he, like He him. doesn't go in every deck, but it's just his, no, his just ability, ability to keep himself yes. around and then just fill up the discard pile. Well, yeah, and then... I mean, so you you play Netrunner, uh, Sungo, so you know the power of Max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> like, just have your heap or your, or, uh, your, or your discard pile yeah. as a resource, just like a second library almost. So, like, whenever you win a conflict of your element, then it's like, all right, cool, I got extra bodies now. Right? That's fine. Uh, so, Ronnie can't declare a second conflict. Uh, Imperial Favor, I believe it stays, does it not? Because Ronnie has the Imperial three? Palace. Two Imperial Palaces. Oh, sorry, Ronnie won I didn't two realize rings. they both had an Imperial Palace yeah. on the same side. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was something off. So Ronnie decides to switch it to military. <laughs> uh, interesting. Cautious Scout gone, but he's done his job. Yes, he basically scouted everything and. Ronnie does know Ben's hand, so like he doesn't have to worry about a. What do you call it? Yeah, the the plan now is you go hard against uh, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, yeah. Oh wow, this the is talisman really is gone too. This is really good because then <clears throat> you just play out Doji Challenger, mm -hmm. and then bring whatever defender, whether if they want to or not, into the into the conflict, right? Yeah, so Ronnie's probably gonna pick up a Doji Challenger and maybe put two or three on him. Ooh, my three. I like that. So, duplicate. Yep. Yeah. Pretty unfortunate side for Ben here, but he does have a Ben does have a lot of combat characters in hand, so he can mitigate that uh, dynasty flop not being so good. Guests of honor the play from Ronnie too. Wow, just going full Pretty bankrupt. Fake. Yeah. Well, this is this is Ronnie's big push turn. Look at look at Ben's side, right? He doesn't know. he doesn't have a lot of characters to play. Exactly. So this is when Ronnie needs to push the advantage and try to uh, so to maybe this break is two provinces this because turn. Ronnie sh knows that Ben has a bunch of political rivals in hand. 
Ooh, double leg goes. And what is that? Another rival of his own? Yeah. So, well, look at that great swing already, eh? Because Ben just couldn't buy anything at the turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spyglass. Seems good. Yep, always a just good play. Let it go. That. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Let it go. So he didn't even let his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of, one of the uh, things uh, me and some of the other Dragon players have been talking about is the. Uh, with the re restricted list uh, hitting Miramoto's Fury a lot, yes. a lot of clans are generally less inclined to play a Dragon Splash. That's correct, which yeah. Means that, uh, which means that let go, ironically, is actually something that you don't see in a lot of clans outside of Dragon anymore. Yes. Of course, Ronnie really insists it's, a, it's one of the best cards to splash for. Well, so he's going to. Watch Commander. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Watch Commander. That's Watch been a lot of. You know, Pathfinder play replacements nowadays. Mm -hmm. Just you get rid of that and just. Even I do that to my Scorpion deck, and it's very rude. So <laughs> to have access to a light goal like that, okay, pretty okay. So feel like Ronnie probably. You see, this is the weird part. Does Ronnie go for a political attack, knowing that he remembers that Ben has. Uh, I think multiple political rivals, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's true, but like I think if you attack with Doji Hitaru, yeah, and maybe well, uh, you, no, this is interesting too because if yeah. he brings Doji Hitaru and Guest of Honor in, Ben can't play for Shames to bow his characters, right? Yeah, oh, it looks like he's gonna go military instead. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. Go military I, I think, first. Yeah, because <clears throat> military fire. Fire's good. Just oh no. wait, we doing the we doing the dance. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? I'm thinking. Yep. Okay. Hotaru and I feel like it's either gonna be both Hotaru and Guess of Honor. Yep. Exactly as I thought. Just to not make sure any events get in the way. What is that? Earth. Ooh, political Earth to get rid of two cards from hand. Yeah, I like that. Oh my! Oh no! He could go for a fire and just dishonor. Uh, dishonor Satoshi. Satoshi I, I do and see, honor. Shudo. Yeah. Well, I do see a noble sacrifice yes, in Ronnie's hand that's too. Right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> so nine, thirteen to one. <clears throat> So one to one, but this is a good part too, though, because Ben actually can't play any events. So get rid of political rivals. Yep. So just get them out of the way. So then now, now let's hope Ben remembers that he can't play uh, for shame in this conflict. I believe that's what Ronnie pointed out. It sounded like. Yeah. So we're going to seven against thirteen because yep. of the uh, defending clause. Yep. Political so, rivals ability. Still winning. I'd let it go. Maybe maybe tap one of the... Uh... Okay, use the ability. Okay. Yeah. Use another trigger. So I guess the only... Oh, okay. Nah, that's been a very short... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting choice of uh, just make, losing a Satoshi like that. Yeah, I wonder why he did that because now uh, Cause, like, he's not going to be able I to do like, it. I feel like, wouldn't the Imperial Palace be no longer be... Like, is there... A, I guess we don't have access to his backlist, but he might be playing. Ben might be playing like Sengers or something. Maybe that's why he wants to keep in Pearl favor. Who knows? True. So maybe that's why he didn't want to lose it that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So breaks. Now this is great too because actually, Ronnie cannot dishonor Satoshi. Cannot. Yeah. I know. Cannot. Cannot. So let's find out if we can remember that. Yeah. So yeah. that was actually pretty good that Ben actually did. Yeah. I like that. Because. Yeah. Because you can't get dishonored. Yeah. So yeah. he'll probably just honor the guest of honor, right? Mm hmm. Just super pump your team because they're gonna be sticking around for a while, right? 
Yeah, it's super super lucky for. Uh... So, that's very very nice. So I feel like maybe. Oh, just just then bang away. Does he go void so he can get some sort of defenders in? I think so. I mean, that's the only way you're going to push through a defense. Because the Doji, um, Tsushi by himself isn't going to do much. The, the only problem is void is actually a pretty bad ring effect right now for... Yeah, so... <laughs> so as uh, Victor was saying. Yeah, so a void ring is pretty low value right now just because the amount of fate on all of Ronnie's characters. That's... So you're I don't doing know it. the big. Oh, this is what I've seen, been seeing a lot. Is mm -hmm. a lot of characters nowadays have been just getting so many fade off. <laughs> I think that's been informed somewhat by the Discord leaks. Okay. Uh, the meta seems to have evolved that way. Uh, because you want just, characters to do continual abilities, yes. like sticking around longer. Yeah. You, you, you're getting more fate value over time if you just load up a especially yeah. a unique character that's that right. you can then keep adding fate onto with that's the dupe effect. Yeah. Rally to the cause. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. So it was military, now it's political? That is correct. Is that what happened? So we're looking at 5-6. Uh, huh. That's correct. 6-2. Six six to two. Four? Four? Four. Four. Yes. Yep. And... Here's a four shame. Yeah, so Targeting get rid of the tokens. Yeah. So go to four. Now this is very unfortunate because now Ronnie can just bow his. Uh... Oh no, that's okay. That's okay because uh... oh no, because Ronnie lost a uh, character. Shoot, darn, I, I forgot. So it's actually six to six to four. <clears throat> Now bows it. Yeah. So zero. Now it can play up to three people that's no longer going to be able to defend it enough, which is unfortunate because Ronnie still has access to a stronghold. So you can just bow any defender that's about to come in. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's, yeah. Wow. That, that was, was a, quick. yeah, that was a very, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Ben really just could not get any um, setup just because he kept drawing conflict characters instead of events. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he Ben really wanted to defend the uh, pilgrimage better, but he just couldn't play any events. Right. I guess that's the power of uh, Guest of Honor.